Hello, here is a, a very quick tutorial uh, showing you how to connect with uh, a Lamnir VPN. Uh, we'll also show you very quickly how to watch UK TV using the VPN. Now, basically, when you purchase your VPN from Lamnia, we send you an email. So let's have a look in the email box and see what's arrived. Okay, you'll see an email, welcome to Lamnia. If that doesn't arrive in a couple of minutes, we, they go out instantly once uh, the purchase has been processed. If it's not there within a couple of minutes, check your bulk folder, check your spam folder. Uh, I would also recommend adding support at lamnia.co.uk to your email contacts. That avoids losing and missing any important emails from us. Okay, uh, you'll see the email now here. Please do not reply to this email as the mailbox is not monitored. You'll notice on the website there's live support there. You can submit support tickets. Uh, you can get hold of us 24 seven. Please go through that process. It's a lot quicker, a lot more efficient. So what's in the email? Well, attached to the email is the handbook. In the handbook, a few useful tips, uh, tips for using the VPN, and also the list of server addresses. Now with the connection I'm going to show you, you don't need the server addresses, though when you've got time, read the handbook, it's worth doing. If you wanted to do a manual connection, uh, you would need the server addresses from the handbook, and if you do wish to go down that path, uh, you can go to the website and lamnia.co.uk, click on the setup tutorials, and you'll see tutorials for XP, for Vista, and for 7. But we don't want to do that. We want to get you connected straight away. So next to that is our automated dialer. This will connect you in seconds. Now, basically, all you need to do is take this and save it to your desktop. Now, I'm showing you in Windows 7. Now, this could be dragged straight across from here onto the desktop. But you might be using XP, you might not be familiar with drag and drop. So I'm going to show you the standard and old fashioned way, which is we right click on the attachment. We go to save as. We are then choosing to save it in the desktop. And press save. And you can see it's popped up there now. Okay. Also, you will see in the email your username and your password. Now you do need these for the dialer. Please don't type in test username or test password. They won't work and uh, you'll just be wasting your time. Okay, so I'm gonna close my email down and we're gonna open up the dialer. Quick click and it's open. Very straightforward. All you need to do is connect is press connect. Now we have a very extensive range of servers to choose from. If you wanted to be located in Canada, you choose Canada, Holland, Holland, Switzerland, Switzerland. You'll also see we have three servers in the USA. All our servers are 10 gigabyte servers, which means we have massive bandwidth and we have very good speeds. You'll see an awful lot of UK servers. Which one do I choose? It doesn't matter. Uh, you can connect with any server you want. So let's choose UK one. I've chosen UK 11, UK 1, and we'll press connect. Now, here you'll need the username from your email. This is my username, okay? Your username may look similar to this. It might look quite different to this. It all depends what package you've purchased from Lamnia. Now, you'll also be asked to enter your password. So I shall enter mine, and guess what? I'm not gonna tell you that. And then we press connect. You can here, of course, save the username and password for the following users, yourself only, or anyone using the computer. Personal tip, never tick that on a first connection. You may have mistyped your password in, you may have mistyped your username in. Make sure you've got one good connection first before you save it. So connect, that's it, you're connected. That's how quick it was. Um, so what do you wanna do when you're connected? We were gonna watch some UK TV. So, I'm sure you're familiar with that website, that's Lamnia. Um, now, let's pop to the BBC website. bbc.co.uk forward slash iPlayer. 
You can, of course, watch ITV, Channel 4, Channel 5 On Demand. You can get the geographical benefits of watching on YouTube, so you can watch the YouTube TV shows. If you have a Sky account, you can watch Sky accounts. Uh, you know, the list is is phenomenal. Uh, always bump us in a, in a support ticket, and we'll tell you any, any sites that we've found. So, BBC iPlayer. Now, this will be familiar to you. What you won't be seeing is the geographical box come up. So let's try a bit of Have I Got News For You. I'm just going to make my window a little bit bigger so I can see it. Contains some strong language. Okay. Am I over 16? Yes, I am. Okay. And here we go. There's BBC iPlayer for you. In a matter of seconds. So I'm just going to close that down. Now, one of the most common questions we get asked is, how do I switch off my VPN? How do I know if I'm connected or not? Icon on the desktop, open it up. If it says hang up, it means you're connected. So let's hang up. Do you want to disconnect? you disconnected. If you want to connect, you double click and choose to connect. It's as simple as that. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, contact our live support people or please feel free to send us a support ticket. Thanks very much and happy viewing. Bye-bye.